Hi all my lovelies, how is everybody doing today? Today is Thursday and that means it's week <laughs> it's week 32 and I just weighed myself I am hanging out in the range of 147 to 149 I even got back up to 150 and this is exactly me I do this all the time before surgery I fluctuated between 10 pounds that's why I want to give myself a 10 pound range so my goal my ultimate goal weight is 140 135 but if I can have that play range between 135 and 145 I will be happy so that way if I gain a few pounds I'm okay with right now my goal is to get to 145 that's my first goal my second is 135 and it seems like I'm at another stall fluctuating again and I seem to do this a lot and then all of a sudden I drop the weight I'll stall for a couple weeks then drop the weight stall for a couple weeks and that seems to be what my body has been doing when I look back on my, my documentation um, so I'm once again I am at a stall I have picked up my carbs a little bit I have been eating a little bit more carbs but not enough to really make me gain three pounds you know what I'm saying um, so I still am not eating any breads or rice I don't eat pastas breads rice and pastas are a definite no-go I don't consume those at all every now and then I'll have a bite of like garlic bread but that's only like one bite so I, I'm still to this day a little bit afraid to try um, breads right now I think I want to wait till I get down to my goal weight to start slowly introducing low carb gluten free breads um, I have a feeling that my body will not handle gluten very well since I've been off of it since pre-op diet which is like seven eight months so um, my body may go back into shock if I restart introducing regular breads back in so I'm a little bit scared about that my normal diets um, have been going as such I have a premier protein shake that I sip on throughout the day I can never ever ever finish a premier protein shake I drink maybe quarter of it throughout the day a quarter of it take a break another quarter of it take a break um but on top of that i have my power crunch bars in the morning so i get my protein first thing in the morning sometimes i have an egg i have a little mini pan it's so cute it's like this big and I, all it needs is one egg and i could cook one egg on it i'll add a couple of pieces of bacon that's been sitting in my fridge i'll have one egg and some bacon and that fills me so that's protein right there i'll have a string cheese stick um, for snacks I do love the p3s uh, um, rev rev it up or p3s those snacks okay I'm gonna have to buy some and show you next Thursday they are delicious they have like peanuts in it meat and cheese and it's the ultimate protein snack and some of them have clusters of like a dark chocolate with a cluster oh gosh that's my treat for the week they are delicious so uh, for the month six, for si month six, I lost to seven pounds. That is my average for a whole month. I went from 161 to 154. So this month, I'm hoping to lose the, the average se seven pounds. I always fe think that I'm not going to. So I started at 154. I am now down to 148 average weigh because sometimes I weigh myself a couple of times throughout the day because I'm trying to compare when is my best time to weigh so like morning i'll check and then the afternoon i'll check and then before bed i'll check and see how much i fluctuate and i do fluctuate between two pounds every day it is crazy throughout the day how much i fluctuate in weight my lowest weight is in very first thing in the morning even with clothes on um, i compare with or without clothes as well but my starting weight was 220. My uh, uh, pre-op weight, I lost 12 pounds. So my surgery weight was 208, July 2nd of 2015 with Dr. Elias Ortiz in Tijuana, Mexico through alighterme.com. And my first month, I lost 20 pounds. And since then, my average is 7 pounds a month. Um, I am down to like I said 148.6 was the last time I weighed myself today uh, so I'm okay because 
I feel great. I feel so amazing. I'm okay with staying at this point. I do want to get down to 135 because that's my ultimate goal. I want to be in a size four to six. I'm at it still in a size eight. And um, I, I want to be a little bit less than that. Um, I have been getting a lot of, oh, wow, you look great, or mm, don't lose any more. You might get too skinny. And I keep telling them, I just want to lose 10 more pounds, and I'm good, guys. I just, 10 more pounds, and I'm good. And I keep seeing all these posts that, oh, I'm 120 and 125, and I'm like, oh, I was 120. 15, 115, 120 when I got married and I was so skinny then and I looked good and I'm going, people are, I'm going to have people tell me I look too skinny all the time and I'm just going to have to get used to it. I'm just going to have to blow it off and brush it off my shoulders and say, well, thank you. I like being this skinny, you know, and uh, I want to be down in uh, 135. That is my comfortable range. Now let me remind you, I'm five foot three inches, so I'm a little on the short side. So the weight gain or the weight loss, excuse me, it, uh, the skinnier, skinnier, the little, 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 what am I trying to say? The less weight is more. it sounds better i guess it's better so on average a person that weighs if between five is five point zero or five zero at five foot and five foot five i think the range is between normal range for t uh my size is between 135 and 145 so like i said I think that's a good weight that I want to be at. I want to be able to get down to 135. Whoa. My family just came in. But I want to get down to 135 uh, and be able to be okay with gaining a couple of pounds. So um, I don't have much that I'm talking about this week. Hi, Kaden. Hi. Um, I don't have much that I'm talking about this week. I really don't have a specific subject. We are getting ready to go to a WWE event. So um, that'll be on Monday. That'll be on Monday and on Tuesday, our recordings. Hi, Kaden. And so uh, if you want, go over to my other channel to check those videos out, which is Mom's Vlog 80. Go check out Mom's Vlog 80. It is in the description box down below and subscribe to that channel as well. But however, I am feeling amazing. You guys are awesome with all your inspirational comments. Thank you so much. You make me feel so good. And if you wanna know anything about the headbands that I wear, I get them from hippierunners.com. So, um, but otherwise, I don't really have much enough of an update today. All is good, all is well. I'm happy where I'm at, and I'm doing really good with my proteins. I haven't cheated much. I take bites of like a pie and cookies and stuff, but I don't eat much uh, sweets because I try to avoid dumping syndrome. So we'll see you guys all later. See you next Thursday for the next update. Love you. Ciao. Bye.